Hey boys and girls, it's Keith from Overtime at King's Cast checking in in the middle of a very hot off-season from hockey. It's going to be 106 degrees in LA this weekend, but if you're over at King's Cast, we're talking about hockey, of course, all the time. Now, we just shot a brand new episode of Overtime. It should be out this weekend, so look for that. I'm really excited for you to see it. I think it's our best one yet. But what I wanted to talk about today is something a little more serious. Now, I have a little bet with Chris Nadeau over at the Hockey Zen. Now, if you haven't checked it out, the Hockey Zen is a great website for the hockey fan, and they do a video episode every so often, Chris and his brother Adrian. And in their most recent episode, they talked about which non-playoff hockey team from last season would be a playoff hockey team this season. Now, his brother Adrian smartly suggested that the Los Angeles Kings would make the playoffs next season, which, of course, I humbly agree with. Chris, however, suggested that the Edmonton Oilers would make it, leaving the LA Kings to be, yet again, another lottery team, that they don't have the goaltending or the coaching. Now, I'm not sure how much East Coast people pay attention to West Coast hockey. I know it is late, and... People need to get their beauty rest. Uh, you know, uh, hockey here starts at 10.30 Eastern, and, you know, they're sound asleep. So I get that. But let's recap the offseason really quickly. The LA Kings signed Stanley Cup playoff champion Rob Scuderi to a four-year contract. They also traded for Captain Canada himself, Ryan Smith, who had 59 points last season, which, if you're comparing to Kyle Calder, uh, who was formerly with the Los Angeles Kings, he had 27 points, leaving a 32-point differential. So I think the Kings are uh, in really good shape offensively and uh, a team that was very anemic at that last season. Now, the Edmonton Oilers did three things this offseason. They signed Pat Quinn as their new head coach. They signed Nikolai Habibulin uh, to a contract. And they also tried to trade for Danley Heatley, something that went unsuccessful. Now, the Canadian media leaked who the three players would be, so now you have three people in the Oilers' locker room who are already pissed off because they were going to be traded. Not to mention, of course, Patrick O'Sullivan's presence, which is always somber, and he hasn't smiled since he was born. I'm not quite sure how the Edmonton Oilers have the edge over the Los Angeles Kings. You know, you got some good players, you know, and they always seem to be close. But the LA Kings this season are going to be a force to deal with. So now I have a bet with Chris. And here's what Chris is going to have to do. The team with the most points at the end of the offseason wins. Okay, That's the winner of the bet. However, if the Los Angeles Kings have 95 points and the Edmonton Oilers have 90, Chris is going to have to do five shots of alcohol of my choosing. Of course, if the Edmonton Oilers, by some miracle, happen to be the Los Angeles Kings, I will do as many shots as is the point differential of Chris's choosing. Now, I'm just going to put that out there for you, Chris. If the Los Angeles Kings win this bet, and they absolutely will, you will be drinking shots, I would say anywhere from five to ten shots, of this. That's right, it's cold, and it's Jägermeister. Mm, take a look at that. You're going to have cirrhosis of the liver when you are done, my friend. So I'm going to put this out to all my Los Angeles Kings fans out there. Get over to the hockey zen and join the discussion. Uh, let Chris know why the Edmonton Oilers have absolutely no shot of beating the LA Kings to the playoffs. And even if they do make the playoffs, the LA Kings will be higher. Also comment on our site. Let me know where you think the Los Angeles Kings are going to go. I think we are absolutely going to be a playoff team. I think Dean Lombardi's done some great things in the offseason. I think our young players have a year more of experience. The LA Kings are going to be a force to deal with. But that's just my opinion. What's yours?